Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, in this video, we shall learn the what is a permutation matrix. So let us start from a very simple definition. We say that a square matrix which satisfies these three properties is called a permutation matrix. The first property is that in this matrix, there will be only ones and zeros. There will be no other number. Each row of that matrix must have a single one. And each column of that matrix must have a single one. Let us see this example. We can see that P1 is 1, 0, and 0, 1. So this is a square matrix. All entries are zeros and ones. In each row, there is a single one. Similarly, in each column, there is a single one. So P1 is a permutation matrix. Similarly, P2 is a permutation matrix. Similarly, look at P3. We can see that this is a square matrix. All entries are zeros or ones. In each column, there is a single one. In each row, there is a single one. So this is a permutation matrix. Let us see this keynote, which says that if A is an N cross N matrix, the number of all possible permutation matrices must be equal to n factorial. Let us further explain this by example number one. Number of all possible two cross two permutation matrices are equal to two factorial, which is equal to two. So we, we have P1, which is one, zero, zero, one, and P2, which is zero, one, and one, zero. So there are only two permutation matrices of order two cross two. There is no other matrix of order two cross two which can satisfy this definition. Similarly, look at example number two. Number of all possible three cross three permutation matrices are equal to three factorial, which is equal to six. So all possible three cross three permutation matrices are P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, and P6. There is no other three cross three matrix which satisfy these properties. Similarly, if we have a four cross four matrix, so number of all possible four cross four permutation matrices must be equal to four factorial. This keynote says that permutation matrices can exchange a rows of a matrix or column of a matrix. Let us understand this by solving example number three, in which we have a matrix A and a permutation matrix P and we have to find PA and AP. So first of all, let us find PA. I'm writing matrix P here, which is 0, 1, 1, 0. And now I'm writing matrix A here, which is A, B, C, D. Now let us multiply these two matrices. If I multiply these two matrices, I can get C, and then I can get D here. And now if I multiply second row of P, I can get A here and I can get B here. Let us say this is now a new matrix B and compare matrix A with matrix B. So we can see the conclusion that P A exchanges rows of matrix A. 
Now let us find a P. Matrix A is A, B, C, D. And matrix P is 0, 1, 1, 0. If I multiply these two matrices, I have B here and then I have A here. Now, if I multiply again, I can get D here. And if I multiply here, I can get C. Let us say this is my matrix number C. Now we have to compare C with A. So we can see first column of A shifted to second column. And second column of A shifted to first column. So we can draw the conclusion that AP exchanges exchanges columns of matrix A to solve example number four let us find PA now P is given one zero zero 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And matrix A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let us multiply these two matrices. If I multiply first row with the first column, I get one. With second column, I get two. With third column, I get three. If I multiply second row with first column, I get seven here. Then I have eight, nine. If I multiply third row of P with first column, I get four then I get five, then I get six. Let us say this is my matrix B. If we compare B with matrix A, what we get? We can see that PA exchanges row one, sorry, row two and row three. And now let us find AP. So matrix A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And matrix P is one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero. Let us multiply these two matrices. If I mul multiply first row of A with first column of P, I get one here. If I multiply first row with second column, I get three here. If I multiply first row with third column, I get two here. Now, if I multiply second row of A with first column of P, I get four. If I multiply with second column, I get six. If I multiply with third column, I get five. Now let us multiply third row of A with first column of P. So I have seven here. And if I multiply with second column, I get nine. With third column, I get eight. And now let us say this is my new matrix C. Again, if I compare C with A, what I can see? I can see that third column has been shifted to second column. So the conclusion is AP exchanges 
C2 and C3, column 2 and column 3. That's all.